The ability to walk upright is one of the most important evolutionary advantages for humans. It allowed us to free up our hands and use them for more beneficial means like crafting tools and throwing objects. In this video, we'll go through how and why humans began walking upright. Enjoy. Walking upright on our two legs is the trait that defines the hominid lineage. Bipedalism separated the first hominids from the rest of the four-legged apes. At the turn of the 20th century, scientists thought that big brains made hominids unique. This was a reasonable conclusion, since the only known hominid fossils were of brainy species like Neanderthals and Homo erectus. That thinking began to change in the 1920s, when scientists discovered the skull, known as the Tong Child, in South Africa. If you'd like to learn more about the story of the Tong Child, then check out my video Apex Competition. There should be a link in the top right of the video. The Tong Child had a small brain, and many researchers thought that it was merely an ape. One feature stood out as being human-like. The foramen magnum, the hole through which the spinal cord leaves the head, was positioned further forward under the skull than the apes, indicating that the tong held its head erect and therefore likely walked upright. In the 1930s and 40s, further fossil discoveries of bipedal apes that predated Neanderthals and Homo erectus helped convince anthropologists that walking upright came before big brains in the evolution of humans. This was demonstrated in 1974 with the finding of Lucy, a nearly complete Australopithecus skeleton. Although Lucy was small, she had the anatomy of a biped, including a broad pelvis and thigh bones that angled in towards the knees, which brings the feet in line with the body's centre of gravity and creates stability while walking. Although the earliest hominids were capable of walking upright, they probably didn't get around exactly as we do today. They retained primitive features, such as long, curved fingers and toes, as well as longer arms and shorter legs. These features indicate they spent time in the trees, as well as on the ground. It's not until the emergence of Homo erectus, 1.89 million years ago, that hominids grew tall, evolved long legs and became completely terrestrial creatures. There are many theories on why we evolved to walk upright, including the theory that hominids evolved in response to climate change. As the forest shrank, Hominid ancestors found themselves descending from the trees to walk across stretches of grassland that separated forest patches. The most energetically efficient way to walk on the ground was bipedally. In 2007, researchers studying chimpanzees on treadmills determined that the chimps required 75% more energy while walking than two-legged humans, providing some evidence that bipedalism has advantages. Prior to the chimp treadmill study, which was the first study examining upright walking in adult chimpanzees, scientists debated a variety of explanations for why humans walked upright. Another theory asserts that our ancestors never had to leave the trees to learn to walk on two legs. Instead, they learnt while still living above the ground. Orangutans provide a modern day analogue, as they often stand on two legs on tree branches and grab onto the other branches with their front limbs in order to stay balanced. Numerous other explanations for bipedalism have been outright rejected, such as the idea that our ancestors needed to stand up to see over tall grass or to minimise the amount of body exposed to the sun in a treeless savanna. Both ideas were debunked by the fact that the first hominids lived in at least partially wooded habitats. Scientists claim that walking on two legs was one of the keys to human development from ancient ape-like ancestors. Walking on two legs saved energy, and allowed the arms to be used for activities like hunting, crafting simple tools, and interacting with objects. Charles Darwin proposed long ago that having two limbs free to use tools constituted a key element of advanced intelligence. Humans and their ancestors began to walk very early in their evolutionary history. Even though bipedalism came before tool making, an upright posture freed the hands to make and use tools, which ultimately became one of the hallmarks of humans like us. In conclusion, humans started walking long before our species, Homo sapien, appeared in the fossil record. Without the ability to walk upright, humans may have not evolved to be as dominant and intelligent as we are today. I've always thought it's important that people know about their ancestors, and in this video we learned some interesting facts about one of our most noticeable traits. 
If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more, then please like and subscribe. Thank you.